my name is Erica Bluen. I'm a resource teacher and I'm here to teach you how to play a game I call Make a Word with um, your kindergarten or first grade student. Um, first of all, I want to um, show you this letter keyword chart from Open Court. That's what our students are using. So it's great to have a copy at home to refer to. This is a game called Make a Word where um, we're looking at pictures. So you're having your child um, look at a picture. So this is a picture of hug. And what we would do is we would have our child um, chop out or tap out the sounds in the word hug. So if they're tapping it on their fingers, they would say hug, hug. And then you might say to them, right here I only have a few letters put out. Um, the vowels are in red. I teach the kids that they're in red. And I would say, what is the first sound in hug? Oh, let's look at our keyword chart. What letter says Oh, H, like that hound dog, says And then what's that second sound? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, let's look here. U says uh, like the tugboat. And then I would say, okay, what's the last sound in hug? Uh, g, g, g. Oh, that's like that gopher. The G says g. And then I would say, okay, can we read this word? And your child can look at the card and look at the word and say, hug, uh, hug. If your child is ready, you could ask a question like, can you change a, a sound in the word? Can you change hug to rug? Can you change rug to rub? So you can really challenge your child um, with these. Sometimes, really your child just needs to work on listening. So it's fine just to use these cards. The word sun, you could just say, can you tap out or chop out the word sun? S-uh-n, sun. Ooh, what was the middle sound in that word sun? Uh, oh, uh, good. What letter says uh? Or you could just have them listen for it. Um, all of that is helping your child get ready to read or to read. Um, and it's just a fun way. There's so many ways you can use this game and I hope you have fun practicing and um, enjoy the time with your child.